Good morning, everyone. The uh, intentions for Holy Mass this morning for Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, and religious, for Sister Luciette and Fathers Ivan and Bogdan, for the poor, the sick, and the dying, and those recommended to our prayers, for the eternal repose of the soul of Pope Benedict, for the souls in purgatory, for world peace, the conversion of sinners, and the reign of God's kingdom on earth. We say the Mass today of the most holy name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. As we prepare to celebrate the Feast of the Holy Name, we ask the Lord for purity of expression in our lives. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded the salvation of the human race on the incarnation of your Son, your Word, give your peoples the mercy they implore, so that all may know there is no other name to be invoked but the name of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, if you know that God is righteous, you may be sure that everyone who does right is born of him. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. It does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he, he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness, Sin is lawlessness. You know that he, that he appeared to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. Anyone who abides in him does not sin. Anyone who sins has not seen him, nor has he known him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. O oh, sing a new song <coughs> to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, break forth into joyous song, and sing out your praise. 
All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Raise a shout before the King, the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. To all who receive Him, He gave power to become children of God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks before me, for he was before me. I myself did not know him, but for this I came, baptizing with water, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John bore witness. I saw the Spirit descend as a dove from heaven and remain on him. I myself did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and have borne witness that this is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. So today the Gospel is concerned with baptisms. The baptism of John for repentance and the baptism of Jesus. But the baptism of John is presented also as a preparation for the baptism of Jesus, just as the life of John was a preparation for the life of Jesus and the grace and power of the Spirit hovering over John was preparing the world for Jesus. Which means that the baptism of Jesus is transformative. It changes a person radically. So there is a radical difference between the baptized and the non-baptized. Of course, the Spirit of God can work wherever, and we see it at work in the wonderful works of kindness, charity, justice. In all religions, the arm of God is not shortened by the gift of Jesus. But in Jesus, we experience a new life, a radical change, a radical transformation. And it is that that we are encouraged to reflect upon, to cherish, and to be mindful of as we live our daily lives. That we have been drawn into uh, the life of God in a unique way, sharing the divinity of Christ. This is very difficult to explain to people because they don't see, and also because we do not manifest the inner life of Christ in us, in our actions. 
we indeed become obstacles to others experiencing the grace of God if we do not live our baptism to the full. And so we are drawn into a world of justice, love, and peace and become like him. We become like God. And therefore, the Pope, quite rightly, Pope Francis, is forever emphasizing the significance of our baptism. Other things that we do out of love for God, religious profession, individual actions, and so on, all flow from this baptism. And the celebration of the sacraments are part of the sort of channel of grace, this overflowing, overabundance of grace that is being poured out because God loves the world and all in it, and particularly those who carry the name of Jesus. And so on this feast of the holy name, not just a question of respect in our language, but of allowing Jesus to be the meaning of our lives. So that those who are, have not yet heard or seen or experienced the Christian way will be drawn closer to the revelation of God in Jesus our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of this name, for our good and the good of all his worship. 
bringing you these offerings from what your bounty bestows on us, we pray, O Lord, that just as you have given us, given Christ, just as you have given to Christ, obedient unto death, the name that saves, so you may grant us protection by its power through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours. And begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation, calling straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Uh, through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Taught by Jesus and in the power of his Spirit, we are able to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the joyful hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another a sign of peace. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. <laughs> The body of Christ. Amen. 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 O Lord our God, how majestic is your name through all the earth.
Let us pray. May the sacrificial gifts offered to your majesty, O Lord, in honor of Christ's name, and which we have now received, fill us, we pray, with your abundant grace, so that we may come to rejoice that our names, too, are written in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world in the ruin of souls. Amen.